If you've looked at some of the lessons that came before this one, what you've probably noticed is that there's just way too much stuff in my data model. And when I say way too much, I guess that's subjective. But what I mean by it is you've seen me scroll and scroll and scroll, and there's so many data elements in here that are just distracting and getting in my way and making it more difficult to find what I'm really looking for. So let's say that what I'm really interested in is just the sales information and at the month level and I'm really not that interested in, in the stores. Let me create a perspective for that. I'm going to call this just sales summary perspective. And in this perspective, I'm going to select just the data elements I really care about. Now this time dimension has fiscal and calendar. Maybe I don't care about fiscal and I just want to look at calendar and I'm never going to go down below the calendar month level. So I'll choose just those two things and you notice everything else is unselected at this point. The geography, I don't care. Uh, my sales, perhaps I just want to see the sales measure, nothing else. Store, I don't want to see anything. I'll leave that out completely. And then in the product level, I just want to see one hierarchy that I created before the class hierarchy. Everything else I just don't care about when I'm looking at the data from this perspective. So that's all I'm going to choose. It's probably less than you might choose, but I think it'll get the point across to what you can do with this feature. So I'll click OK. And nothing's changed in the data model, but what changes quite a bit is how this looks when I use it. So I'm going to go ahead and analyze in Excel and choose that perspective I just created using my credentials. And as I go into Excel, you see just how simplified this became. I have only that class hierarchy. I only go down to the month. I have nothing about stores, nothing about geography. Very, very simple. Now, maybe too simple, but again, what we're trying to do is create a very simple presentation for a set of users doing a specific task. And that's what we've done. So I could choose class hierarchy. If you've watched previous les lessons, I've done that a lot, but it's always taken a lot longer because I've had to scroll and find what I'm looking for. And then I'll put year on columns. So very easy. So that's a very quick, easy example of what a perspective is. But here I'm going to show you that it's not a security mechanism because all I have to do to get around that perspective is go into my data source and then change the properties. The command text on the connect string is what tells analysis services to return just that filtered perspective. My default model is called model. And if I simply change that to model, I get everything back again. And that's what your users would see as well. So you really can't secure your data using perspectives, but you certainly can make it easier to use. And that's why we use perspectives.